when we talk about standard deviation, we're basically trying to understand how far apart are the values from the center in the data set. How dispersed are the values in our data set? So today we're going to try to answer what does standard deviation really mean? Consider this example. Where on the left hand side we've got a data set that looks pretty dispersed. Whereas on the right hand side, the data is pretty much concentrated around a particular value. In both data sets, the average value is 5.5. But the standard deviation, a measure of dispersion, is higher in the data set on the left hand side. And this standard deviation can be used as a metric to describe these two data sets in a different way. Because the central measure of mean or average value is unable to distinguish between the two data sets. Right? So in a qualitative sense, you could talk about the data set on the left having higher dispersion, thus having higher standard deviation, and the data set on the right being more concentrated in the center around a particular value, you would find it to have less standard deviation than the one on the left hand side. But how do we go from a qualitative assessment to a quantitative assessment? What does standard deviation really mean in terms of numbers? This is what it entails. We see on the x-axis there's a there are different numbers for standard deviation. One standard deviation mark, and there's two, and there's three, and then there's minus one, minus two, and minus three, and this is around the mean value in the data set. What standard deviation really means is that within one standard deviation around the mean value, around the average value of the data set, from negative one to the positive one standard deviation interval, we should expect to have 68% of the data lying within this interval within these values. Within negative 2 to positive 2 standard deviation interval, we should expect 95% of the values in the data set to exist. And almost all of the data set, 99% of the data, almost all of the values in our data set are within the interval negative 3 standard deviation to positive 3 standard deviation. So this is what standard deviation actually means. Now let's look at formulation of how do we really calculate this value, this standard deviation. This is what the formula for standard deviation looks like. Notice it is in fact a difference from the mean. Each value is, um, is getting subtracted out from the mean, but the mean is getting subtracted from each value. You could write it out either way, and, and then we square these, uh, this, this result, this difference. And that makes the number uh, positive, even if uh, the difference is negative, right? And then we sum all of these squared values and then divide them by the total number of values in the data set. This is kind of like a taking an average. You're squaring the difference, and then you're adding those up and dividing by the total number of values. And then we take a square root of the final quantity. Now, in a way, the square root negates the effect of uh, squaring right here. But what's really left, what's really happening is we're finding differences of these values from the mean. And because we're summing them up and dividing by the total number of values, essentially we are quantifying an average distance of the values in our data set from the mean value, which is another way to describe standard deviation. So essentially standard deviation could be defined as an average distance from the mean value. Right? Average distance of the values in the data set from the mean value. Now let's look at an example of how to do this. Now of course we could use formulas in Excel. There's a standard STD UV formula for population and sample in Excel and in Python, you could also use a bunch of libraries to calculate this. It's fairly straightforward, but if you had to do it manually by hand, this is how we could do it. So consider these, uh, this column as 
our data set in, in its entirety. Consider this as the population, 3, 12, 9, 4, 2. We've got five values in the data set. We know what the mean of these values is, which is 6. We could always add them and divide them by 5, because these are five values to calculate the mean. And then you subtract the mean from each value, which would then be 3 minus 6 would be minus 3, 12 minus 6 would be 6, 9 minus 6 would be 3. And then we could have this column where we have got the difference from the mean with us. And then we could square these values to obtain the squared difference, right? And then all of these values get summed up to get a total value, and then we divide it by the number of values, which are 5 in our case, to arrive at this quantity, which is something that we are going to square root. And we would arrive at our standard deviation value, which is 3.85. So what does this really mean? This means that although the mean is 6, if we have 3.85, which is 9.85, and if we go one standard deviation below the mean, that would be 2.15. So from 2.15 to 9.85, in this interval, we should expect 68% of the values in the data set to be there. So that is what the standard deviation really means. I hope that uh, makes sense.